Get your ass to Mars. Do, 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 get your ass to Mars. Do, 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 get your ass to Mars. Do, 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 get your ass to Mars. Do, do, do. <laughs> Welcome back, Internet, to some more Martian Gothic Unification. Right, okay, in our last episode, we managed to raise the bulkheads, which means all three of our characters, Matlock, Khan, Kinzel, they all have free reign about the base. And um, before pressing record, I actually wrote down some objectives, and the four objectives are, first of all, we're going to explore the shuttle bay. Um, our second objective, we're going to talk to a survivor in the base. We're going to be talking to the weird guy who's been sending us all those messages on Sunset Boulevard. We are going to talk to the mysterious Ben Gunn. Then, afterwards, we are... I'm going to switch to Kenzo, and he's going to be doing the Dead Man's Walk. So, we'll bring out the map. Dead Man's Walk is basically this part of the map here. Madison Avenue, Downing Street, and the Dead Man's Walk into door number 3, 42nd Street, Whitehall, and then Lonely Street, back to Madison Avenue. Yep, that's it, basically. Okay, so, objective number one. Let's get to that shuttle bay. Get off me! Or oh, immediately gets back up again. Of course he does. Oh, piss off! Bloody extrude! That's that drowning again. I need some health. What's the ammo situation like? 48. Another Martian rock. Hickman's notes. Someone likes doodling. Ah, now this is in reference to an artifact that's inside Geolab. Okay. Oh crap, what was that? I just saw something else in here. I think there's another non dead in here. Yeah, there is. It's locked. That's an extra key, don't need that, Mr. Ober. Ah, now this is for the puzzle in... The codes are in colour, but the access panel is in black and white, and all the shades of grey. 
I'm thinking about a frame of reference. Why am I thinking about that? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Um, this note here is in regard to the puzzle in Arkham Dorm. But that's not until much, much later. Okay, so we've got some stuff we need to drop off. Droning sound again. Any space in this locker? No, there isn't. I'm gonna have to use the hatch. So follow me. Andrevich, you flippin' stalker. Okay, put that in there. Also put the book and the scarab in there. Oh, and the gloves. We won't need all that until much later. Okay. We need to be near a, a vac tube, this one. Okay, who's got the um, electronic screwdriver? Please don't say it's Kenzo. Please don't say it's Kenzo. It's Kenzo! Bugger. Yeah, he's still in the VR chair, right? Need to get him out. So Matt locked the screwdriver. Clipping issues. Oh, I've got to put Kenzo back in the VR chair. This is very important. This is how you get in the shuttle bay. Switch character, go back to Matlock. There's quite a lot of important stuff in the shuttle bay. Oh crap, it's a purple one. Piccolo ammo, thank you. Just like what Kenzo did with the duct panel on Boulevard Saint-Michel, take the electronic screwdriver.
Now, just do a quick uh, save state. Um, because, well, we can't just simply crawl in through the duct, because if we do, this happens. Dead. Yeah, one of the mechanics of this game, if one of your character dies, they all die. So we can't go in now because we'll get mauled by that monster. Now that monster is called a Trimorph. And it's all to do with... Um, um, different types of bacteria all... Um, merging into one creature. Like, if you remember the emergency transmission hole um, Judith Haraway made, she said there are people clumping together. And that's the result of it. Okay, right. Bring up the save state. Now. Uh, yeah, bring up the map. This area of the base is called Penny Lane. That's the shuttle bay there. Back out of that, back out of that. So what we do to get into the shuttle bay, we need to lure the monster out here and trap it. And we're gonna need Kenzo's help. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, open. Chase me. Right, okay. Kenzo. Use the rock. Big red ants symbolize large creatures, like the one Karn glimpsed in Recyc Antichamber. Now, with that monster trapped, we can safely explore the shuttle bay. Warning! Acute bacterial infection identified in three human hosts. The human hosts must isolate themselves immediately. Warning! Acute bacterial infection identified in three human. I can't stand that wearisome little woman. All three of us infected? Maybe I'd better talk to Mood. Oh, something's waking up in here. Nadja Kalinski, Geologist, Daylog, August 8th, 2018, 11.54 p.m. I just arrived in the shuttle bay. The biohazard alarm is shrieking all over the base. Luke and Ishara and Susan got here before me, but something got to them first. It made a terrible mess of them. The door has locked behind me. I can't get out, and no one can get in. As the shuttle requires a minimum two-person crew, that means I'm stuck here unless someone makes it through the ducts. Now I think of it, the ducts will be closed in response to biohazard. Glitch. All things considered, I'd sooner be in Minsk. Communication still not responding. Yori was the last to transmit a message. Stay alone. Stay alive. He must have been thinking of airborne infection from the necropolis. For the official record, I wish to add this observation. Vita base is haunted. I can hear some movement in the duct. I hope it's human. Nope.
or piccolo ammo, I'll take that, brown herbs, and more Dillinger ammo. Still don't have a Dillinger gun, so that goes in there. More Dillinger ammo. Take the welder. What the? That was close. Oh, piss off! Thank you. Luke Barton, D log, etc., etc. Susan is dead, ripped apart. Before communications failed, I got through to Nadja and Ishira. They're on their way. If they make it here safe, we'll get a chance to escape. We'll need at least two of us to launch the craft. By the look of it, we'll have to use the manual override to open the bay, so long as Mood opens the override hatch. That means only two of us can escape. I wonder how we'll choose. Toss a coin. I can hear the rumble of bulkheads sealing all over the base. Ah, sure, I just made it here in time. I think I can hear Nadja coming in. And something else is coming. <laughs> oh god Dillinger Now this is the escape shuttle Simultaneous ignition switches over three meters apart It'll take two to launch this Matlock is going to keep um, the piccolo. I think that's everything. Put those in the hatch. Right. Got some brown herbs to make some more um, health boosters. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Okay, now we're going to put Matlock in a safe space. You can't use a Sayonara, don't bother trying to get into airlock 5. We can't have you nice people wasting your ammunition, can we? Okay. Right, we'll leave Matlock there. Time for Khan to shine. A Dillinger. Now there's a real American gun. Use Dillinger. Um, put the rest of the piccolo ammo there. Send it to Matlock. 
Yeah, Matbox weapon is going to be the Piccolo. Oh yeah, magnetic checker. Gonna send. Need to send a magnetic checker to Kenzo. We're also going to equip the biosensor. I like the way you scream. Biosensors should pick up um, other human life forms. Bolt block 779 locking mechanism. Looks like the lock's been deliberately jammed from the inside. And this is why we give Khan the welder. It was some kind of overlock. I've cut right through it. And this is the kitchen. The writing on the wall. Biohazard alert. This is the weirdo that's, well, I say weirdo, you'll get to know in a second, but this is the guy who's been sending us like random messages like, I'm in the mood, Park Lane. Okay, so let's talk to him. Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife. And she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Queen... Queen Mab. I recognize the quote, Romeo and Juliet, but who do you think Queen Mab is? More than Queen of Crows, I can tell you. She's bounded in a nutshell, but counts herself Queen of Infinite Space. There was a note in a vac tube on Sunset Boulevard. Was that from you? Ah, Sunset Boulevard. I send all my mail to Sunset Boulevard. I'll keep that in mind. Do you live in the kitchen? Where else would I live? How are you managing for food? There's plenty of food cans and plenty of meat. The name says John Farr on your ID bag. Yes, that's right. I'm John Farr, Dr. John Farr, medical officer, biolab something. No, that was in another country. And besides, the when she's dead, I'm Ben Gunn, alone on Trimorph Island. Pieces of white, pieces of white. X marks the spot to Captain Flint's chest. Ha ha, ha ha. I'm part of the Enigma mission. Enigma? Total mystery to me. I saw your ship crash. Laugh my head off! <laughs> the base directional beacon was out. There was a mother of a dust storm and the terrain around here ain't exactly flat. I'd say we were lucky to make it here in one piece. Hey, you knew we were coming. I wondered who's been putting keys and stuff in absurd places. Yeah, that was me. It's all a part of your intellectual training, puzzling things out. I got it from Martian Mayhem. Oh, God, don't tell me you're a Martian Mayhem fan. It's the only game in town.
What the hell is that? It's my very own bacon slicer. Constructed by my own hands. Why build your own bacon slicer? To slice bacon. There's no arguing with that. You ever talk to Mood? Since she woke up, she's too busy shielding you three to chat with me. She's protecting you from Queen Map every second of every hour. We are in you and around you. We the horn of Akarak, solitary and myriad. We are in the rhythm of your blood and breath. Beat by beat, breath by breath, you come closer to our enfolding arms. Ooh, spooky. Those red tags round your neck. Would you spare me one? One's for me, and one's for my true love. I won't say a thing until you bring me a pumice stone, so get lost. Who has the pumice stone? Don't be Kenzo. Oh, it's fucking Kenzo again! Fuck's sake. Well, we are safe in this room. So we've got to drag Kenzo back out of virtual reality. Kenzo's health. Oh, not too bad. That's a point. Yeah, he's got no flipping. He's in need of bullets. Save. That would be something very wise to do. Right, is there anything else he needs to send? Apart from the drive belt. Oh, that note from Ben Gunn can go. Take, yeah, I'll take that ammo. Not going to put him in virtual reality. We're just going to Stick Kenzo in the mood mainframe because he's safe here. No, no, it's calm. Pumice stone for Ben Gunn. 
I won't say a thing until you bring me a pumice stone. I won't say a thing until you bring me. Uh, wait, hang on. Who did I send it to? Hang on, I did send it to Khan, didn't I? Ah, there we are. Of course, if we had the pumice stone in our inventory, um, Ben Gunn, Khan would have gone, a pumice stone, what use is that? And Gunn would have gone, what use are you? Anyway, the blade on the bacon slicer needs sharpening. Okay, red tag. That's for Ned Lab. Okay, so that's objective number two complete. We've met and spoken to Ben Gunn. We must stop meeting like this. There's a survivor in the base. Ben Gunn. Yes, indeed. He's in a right old state, raving bonkers. His real name is John Farr, a medical doctor. If you play your cards right, he may be able to help you out. He mentioned a name. Angel. Yes, I know he did. My Omniscan tells me everything that's happening in the base and below. Now, that line there, he mentioned a name, Angel. That's if you get um, Matlock to speak with him. Also, the contagion. Have you any words of advice? If you haven't worked it out already, stay well apart from each other. A distance of at least ten meters. We've been infected, all three of us. Yes, I just couldn't bring myself to tell you. Very hard cheese. If you need more information, Look in the text files in those dull little base computers. Password, Trident. We found the book, The Lords of Egypt. That's nice. There was a name underlined in it. That's nice too. She is a very stum when it comes to certain subjects. Operation Akarak. What is that? Akarak is the true name of Mars. Cool. Anyway, it's all on the text files in those rubbishy computers you can find close by. Text file password is field. Now, this is the reason why all three um, mission members can't meet up, because they've all been infected with certain strains of bacteria. It's locked with a passcode. Dining Street Hatch. 1010. Oh, how very apt. Number 10, Downing Street.
another green, uh, another dawn tag, don't need that. Jean Marrow, Daylog, August 8th, 2018, 637 AM. The last batch of recruits to our merry band has just made Planet Fall. Two exogeologists, a bacteriologist, and a mining engineer. That brings Vita Base up to its full complement of 58 members. We're right on schedule for the Vita project. Haraway gave the newcomers the usual pep talk. They listened with happy shining faces, just like I did three months ago. They weren't told about the big secret we unearthed down below. When they do hear about it, and when they see it, they'll be looking over their shoulders come nightfall like the rest of us. Sometimes I think Mood is the only one who has a clue what's going on. 11.03 p.m. I've just finished a double shift down below. We're all getting pretty nervous. No one likes what's going on, but no one says anything. Three months more and I'll be out of here. Roll on that day. I don't sleep at nights. <laughs> Go back to the hatch. Don't need that. No, nothing on the body. Now, on the PC version, there's loads of flipping um, non-dead along this corridor. Green tag required. This must mean that... That's Downing Street. Damn, as what well, we're here. Uh, just do a quick save state here. Now you're probably thinking, what's making all that noise? Yeah, there's a trimorph in here. And there's something in that hole that we need. But first, send that and that to Matlock. Now, the Trimorph guard guarding that hole, you're probably thinking, well, how are we going to get this um, uh, item? And this is where the baby bug comes in. Now, in a lot of playthroughs, a lot of um, um, streamers do this wrong. Let me show you what I mean. So we put down the baby bug. Okay. If we use the baby bug remote, hmm. Now this is what a lot of gamers do wrong. Ooh, open baby bug. There's a letter inside. Find this blasted baby bug card, and I've hidden the damn thing in the wrong place. I've been able to hear with you scooting the baby bug under my feet, okay? Now you've found it, I don't want it anywhere near me again or I'll stomp your little toy to smithereens. Yours, on second thoughts, up yours, Andrew Mir. Now, this is what a lot of gamers do wrong. They put the checker in the baby bug. The problem with that is... we do it this way, the baby bug can't do it on its own. Yep. So, 
bloody clipping issues. Come on. There we are. This is what you're supposed to do. Open baby bug. We take out the checker. Use checker with the baby bug. Come on. Stupid thing. Come on. Yes, there we go. Let's pick something up. Oh, come on. Where is it? Asshole game. <sighs> hmm. There we go. And that is how you use the baby bug. What did you pick up though? A spectrometer? I think it's a spectrometer. It analyzes the wavelengths of colors into numerical values. Now this is a very important key item. And since I loaded a save state... Uh, save state again. We seriously need to get out of here. Was close. <sighs> Need the key to unlock it. Okay, so there's a storeroom there. About time you fucking died. Is it going on an antitoxin? There's a strange light here. Green tag required. That there is Arkham Dorm.
Oh. Huh. Safe state. Okay, so we can't get past that. Wait, what was that note? If you can't use the Sayonara, don't bother getting into airlock 5. Oh, this must be airlock 5. Now we come to a fun part of the base. Who's shooting? A non-dead with a gun. Dillinger pistol, high caliber. Won't open. Someone's cut out a Won't open. Someone's cut out a hole in the lock. Now we don't know the password to this, but we kind of do. Weird how a passcode got into my watch. A cyan cell for a cyanar weapon. But there is a bit of a problem, a bit of a, well, a bit of a downside to using the Sayonara. It uses, um, oh god, what's the word? Um, it needs an InfoMesh operator to work, and it taps into an InfoMesh implant, which means it drains the operator's health a little bit. So every time... I use the Sayonara, I lose a little bit of health. 
and seeing as uh, Kenzo is all out of um, health boosts. About to say stim packs there. This isn't Fallout. We are here. Shit, let's just turn purple. 